Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. This is our 2017 Beneteau Antares 7, powered by a Suzuki 150 horsepower outboard engine. Being a Beneteau dealer, we do have a lot of experience and we are very familiar with the Antares 7. They're very popular amongst people looking to move away from open top sports boats, from soft top cuddies like this, from bow riders and from ribs. For people who favour perhaps a little bit better element protection, that of which this gives you, thanks to this hard top and its glass sliding patio doors. The full canvas enclosure at the back here, that was literally brand new and installed yesterday. So it's had minimal use. The Suzuki 150 outboard at the back has been used exclusively in fresh water. Flanking either side of those are your huge and chunky extended swim platforms, reboarding ladder just tucked in there into the mould and a handle to help you get back on board. Now, if you look at the lines of Antares 7, so the bow is raised and the stern is lowered. That gives it a sleek profile in the water. It also means that by raising the platform at the bow, you can get more space into the accommodation area. With that, Anytime it rains on the deck, all the water will run down here and there's an irrigation channel there, so that stops it from running straight into the cockpit. Quite a typical problem on some boats like this, you get a soaking wet cockpit anytime it rains. Now to facilitate the starboard side walk round, they've offset the cockpit slightly to the port side. You still have good access on the port side for the walk round, but you can get up here nice and easily to access your anchor locker and the roller up here, also the front cleats. So before we go into the cockpit, there's a storage locker with a drain there, perfect for ice if you want to refrigerate and cool your uh, your drinks and also your food. You then have a transom cold water shower there. And that allows you to rinse off the decks or rinse off your passengers if they've been in for a swim, just as they come back on board. About six feet worth of headroom up to the top of the canvas and then slightly more just where the hard top overhang is looking back against the back bench so we can move that about a foot and a half forwards and that means if we need to tilt the outboard all the way up we can do that that's one of the benefits of outboard power for winter storage if you want you can take that all the way up and have it completely out of the water same if you want to drive the boat onto a beach so if you want to beach the vessel move this forward and you can trim the engine all the way out of the water on the port side, we have our wraparound seating for added comfort and then the upholstery there is marine vinyl so you can theoretically actually rinse it down with the transom shower if it gets dirty. Lazarette contains our batteries, access to the tank and also some storage space and then up against the door we have our manual bilge pump. Moulded in in non-skid are the steps to each side of the walk round and then our glass side and patio doors, they do deadbolt on the inside top and bottom. So going into the cockpit, straight away on the port side we have our saloon, forward is the berth, just tucked underneath the helm is the heads compartment and then the galley is here to starboard. Now to get full unencumbered use from the galley you just undo the deadbolt at the back, move the helm seat forward, that gives you free access to the sink on board. Once you remove the Beneteau manual box, this area is designed to take a portable gas cooker. Underneath that, you have storage, and then on this side is the Dometic fridge, small freezer compartment just above as well. That runs off the 12 volt battery, and then we have our fusion control for the onboard Bluetooth stereo. AM and FM radio available on that. The speakers are located in each of the pillars for the roof. On the port side, so you can see we've got this marine vinyl backrest on either side and then the bases, the bases are soft cloth. Your storage, again, just underneath where the walk round is and there's loads of storage. So if you look everywhere that you have holes in the floor, that's so you can get your finger into it to lift these sections up. You have more storage underneath this cushion and again, more underneath that one as well. Navigator can sit here if they want to while you're riding along. What you can also do is rather than have them sat behind you, you can have them sat in line or in front with you. You can move the backrest round. With it forward then, it means everyone, all four passengers or five passengers can sit and face the direction of travel. You can enjoy the vista, you can grab onto the grab rail there, put your phone key, your drinks in that area. Then notice how the cushion 
at the forward berth is not elongated to the point where it is intruding up against the bulkhead. We've got a gap here and this is covered in non-skid whilst the area underneath that isn't. That means you can sit here, you've got traction underfoot when you dangle your feet down there and also you're not putting your feet all over your bedding, which just really isn't pleasant at all. Before we move down forward, I'll just quickly tell you that, of course, there are blackout blinds for this area here. We've got the fly net just currently up on the skylight and then also there's a blackout blind that will come across. Curtains, you can see, are behind me in all locations. Now, only moments ago, I took all the cellophane off of these cushions here at the front. That was because the boat had never been slept in, so they had never been slept on at all. They smell brand new when I opened up the bags, so they smelt like they were just fresh from the factory. You will get two people in here. There's storage underneath these, and some of these have a multi-purpose because this one houses the bow thruster. You've got storage underneath this one on the starboard side, and then more storage. And I'll just show you these lockers because they're easier to get to. Storage locker there. Also another one there. Now if I just jump up against the bow of the boat where the anchor locker is, we can take one sleeping or sweeping look back. And then we'll take a quick look into the heads. So even a big lump like me, just to see how big this was, I sat in the toilet. You can actually physically sit on it. There's plenty of headroom as well. It's a pump plus sea toilet uh, with a waste tank. The waste tank gauge is there and then also a tap built in to the mould of the boat and then storage underneath and also a light in case you come in here weary eyed in the early hours of the morning if you need to go you need to go single piece dash with a matte black effect up on the left hand side we have our suzuki digital engine information so on an lcd display it gives us our revs our speed we can find out all our engine information as well we can scroll through using the button on the bottom right hand side depending on exactly what it is you want to find out. Slap bang in the middle then we have our fish finder and our sonar. So that gives us our depth, our water temperature. We can then press the button here and also bring it up onto the chart if you want it in the chart plotter setting. GPS feature on that as well. You also have that on the VHF down below. This has built in DSC. And then a very, very rare find on a boat of this size is the onboard bow thruster. We have a start stop button here and then troll mode. So you can actually set the boat to move very, very slowly in the water if you want to cast a few lines off behind you to do a spot of fishing. Really, really well appointed for a boat of this size. The boat is in absolutely fantastic condition. We took her back as a part exchange against one of our brand new 2023 Regal 28 Expresses that we had in stock. Very manoeuvrable behind a small family car as well. The boat is legally towable, and that means you can effectively go anywhere with her. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.